Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how Microsoft have removed x64 bit emulation from the Windows 10 ARM operating system. This is a big deal because Windows 10 ARM doesn't have many native ARM applications and therefore we need to use this emulation in order to get many applications working that are 64 bit. So most games released in the last 5-10 years are actually 64 bit games and if you want to run them on Windows ARM then you need to rely on this x64 bit emulation. Loads of games make use of this, for example, Halo, Skyrim, etc. And so this has quite a lot of implications for gaming, especially if we're using parallels on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you don't know about this already, you can actually play Windows games on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, which is going to be using Windows ARM in order to play those games. And even though we're only able to allocate half of our RAM and half of our CPU cores, we actually get some very playable performance. You can actually check out one of my other videos, which is benchmarking Windows games running on the M1 Max chip. And some of these games work really well. For example, the game control runs fantastically. We've got games like Tekken 7 or Halo Reach. And there's plenty of others that run fantastically well on Windows ARM, even though it's running through a virtual machine. Here we have the blog post, which is originally from December the 10th, 2020, where they first announced the x64 bit emulation. And this really opened up this whole new world of applications that could run on Windows 10 ARM. And now on the top of this blog post, we have this new line here, which says that x64 bit emulation for Windows is now generally available in Windows 11. For those interested in experiencing this, a PC running Windows 11 ARM is going to be required. So this means that they're going to be removing this x64 bit emulation from Windows 10 ARM. So this gives us even more reason for us to move on from Windows 10 ARM to Windows 11 ARM. If we want to download Windows ARM on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac and we sign up for the Windows Insider Preview, the only link we're going to have available is the Windows 11 on ARM. We can't get Windows 10 on ARM. In order to get Windows 10 on ARM working, we're going to have to use a special workaround and build an ISO using UUP dump. This is a method of basically compiling Windows 10 ARM with all of those updates together into one ISO. Have a lot of people be holding out. I really want to stay on Windows 10 ARM. And for those people, I really want to ask the question, why do you want to stay on Windows 10 ARM? The fact is that if you are on Windows 10 ARM, then you'll automatically be enrolled and updated into an update for Windows 11 ARM. And this is really where the future of the ARM-based operating system is. And unfortunately, Microsoft are removing one of the key features which will allow us to run some of our legacy software on the Windows ARM operating system because there's virtually no native ARM software apart from the software that's already built into Windows ARM. And now removing x64 bit emulation is kind of the final nail in the coffin. Virtually no applications are going to work unless we have this emulation layer working as well. However, we should note that 32 bit applications should still be emulated as normal. Most of the interesting games from the last few years are all 64 bit, and most useful applications are 64 bit as well. So if we do remove this x64 bit application, then virtually no software is going to work on Windows 10 ARM in the future. So anyway, let me know in the comments what you think about this new change. Are you going to upgrade from Windows 10 ARM to Windows 11 ARM? Have you done so already? Do you think this is a big deal? Let me know what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.